Okay, we're going to learn how to scratch build wooden structures. I'll show you the different wood and everything I'll be using. Like the craft sticks, these are popsicle sticks. Uh, here are chef uh, toothpicks. Now these toothpicks has a design on the bottom of them. So you can use them for uh, banisters, uh, uh, fencing, all kinds of other things. Um, here are wooden skewers. And over here are matchsticks. Uh, now you can use the uh, popsicle sticks uh, and, and, and uh, the skewers as uh, to secure your two sides together. Um, same thing as you do with the uh, toothpicks. Use your uh, uh, skewers for um, um, fencing, uh, uh, pillars, structures, uh, both used round, for round ends and everything. Okay, you know what the popsicle sticks look like. I don't have to show you these. Uh, they come in uh, different sizes. These are a little bit of larger ones. There's smaller ones than this. Uh, you've seen tongue depressors. I think I've seen a few people get tongue depressors and use them. I haven't seen it where you get a whole bunch of them at one time. The tongue depressors are good too to use. But here are matchsticks. These are the ones you use for your barbecue and fireplaces. Uh, see, all these are all square. Just cut the heads off of them. Now you can take a look at these uh, chef toothpicks and you can see they're just a dollar. I guess you get them at the dollar store. Uh, what you want, you make sure you're looking for the chef toothpicks that has all the designs on them. They have different designs on them. Well, if you take a look at that, you can, can you see that the design on the end of the toothpicks here? Use these for banisters or balusters on the top of even I go on top of your roof. Make them look steel looking or keep the wood look to them. Hope you can see the detail on there. These are a shift toothpicks. Only cost a dollar. Uh, these here are the wooden ske skewers. Uh, a lot of these things you can go ahead and stain them before you use them. There's a lot of other wood and everything I'm going to be showing you. I have some of the other, other things I build. I'll show you what I'm going to be using the skewers for. But the mainly wood that I like to use is bass wood. That balsa. The balsa uh, is too soft, but this is bass wood. I get that at the Hobby Lobby. <laughs> uh, I also get make sure it's pretty thick and make sure it doesn't warp. Uh, I think this is 1 8 eighth inch thick I believe one sixteenth or one eighth and where's my ruler at yes these are one eighth thick basswood I mainly use this for roofing uh, now what I do the designs and everything for the building the building I'm going to be building again is what I built the same thing in plastic I'm going to be building in wood is a century warehouse um, and, and uh, 1967 model railroader century warehouse. I'm gonna build that in all in wood. I'm gonna be using the bass wood. I'm actually gonna. I guess I think I'm gonna use some of the uh, decking. Uh, I'm gonna use the um, popsicle stickers to find some good ones in there. I got. I don't know where. You can, I got this for a Christmas present or for a birthday present. The craft sticks. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw out the uh, building structure on this uh, cardboard here and cut them out. And I'm going to glue the uh, pieces and everything to the cardboard. Um, if you look at the other one, you see my center warehouse is on the, uh, on the uh, what I built in plastic. I'm going to do this one in wood. I'm going to show you what I'm going to make the siding with, what, I, uh, what most people hasn't been using for their building their models. I haven't seen them building. is uh, floral sticks. Uh, which most people haven't been using. I've been using them for quite a while, over four or five years, even more than that, probably up to 60 years I've been using floral sticks. Well, this is what I'm going to make my siding with, floral sticks. 
Uh, these are made in Canada. They come from a light green, olive green, to a dark green, almost a black green. I had to use the end of separating them if I want to make them one color, or do if I want to do a more uh, uh, a weathered look. I've just used these colors here, where they have to completely green the uh, siding of the thing of the uh, floral sticks. You see right here these edges on some of these, and I separate the colors from the dark to the olive. Like these here, these are more of an olive green on this one right here. I glued four of them together to make this uh, pillar here. Well, this is what I'm going to make the siding with. I'm not going to, I think I'm making my, I don't know, all, completely olive green or or the dark green. I don't know if I'm going to do them in vertical. You can either do them in this sideways vertical like this or horizontal. You can do them horizontally. It'll give you a horizontal look. You choose either way. There you go. Okay, here's the other wood I'm going to be using. Oh, Midwest uh, micro cut scale lumber. This is also basswood. Uh, you see the reason why I like to get a hold of toothpicks and uh, matchsticks and uh, using skewers. You see the price is two ninety nine for a scaled lumber. I mainly use this for windows and uh, uh, doors. I need any little scale uh, detail parts that I want to build on my structures. That what didn't what you have to use a scaled lumber with. Okay, here's the two glues I'm going to be using. Uh, you know this name, but you don't know this one. This is a R O R O O Clear. And it actually is called R O Productions Inc. It's actually made in the United States. Uh, it's a vinyl adhesive. It's a water-based glue. This stuff glues. I mean, it really glues something together. But it glues clear. So you finish your uh, uh, with your models and everything, then you actually don't want to show any gluing. And use this here. I'm mainly going to be using this for my basic model, but around your windows, your doors, everything, you don't want to see a lot of glue popping out, you want to use this. Now this is a specialty glue, you probably had to get directly from a uh, 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 craft store. Um, I don't think you get Hobby Lobby's things like that carries this. Um, you had to go to a specialized wood store to get a hold of this.